Hello, my dear friends, and a warm welcome. In this video, you will get important 25 questions on the topic general microbiology and agriculture microbiology. This video is important for you if you are a student of BSc, MSc course, or you are preparing for any entrance exam or for the competitive exam. Myself, Dr. Tripti Malika Hoja, I am your guide, tutor and mentor for the subject Biology, Microbiology, Life Sciences and Biological Sciences. If you are new to the channel, then do subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get the notifications of all the new videos. So now let's get started. The question number one, the location where the bacterial chromosome concentrates is called option E nucleus, B nucleus, C nucleus and D nucleoid. The correct answer here is the D nucleoid. Actually in the case of the bacteria, the nucleus is not the true nucleus but is, is in the form of nucleoid, it lacks the nuclear membrane. Now question number 2, bacteria are more sensitive to antibiotics at which phase of growth curve? A log phase, B declined phase, C stationary phase and D is lag phase. I hope you remember the growth curve of the bacteria. This is the typical growth curve. Now the bacteria they are more sensitive when they are in the growing phase. That phase is called the log phase. So the correct answer is the E log phase. Question number 3. Which of the following is an aerobic nitrogen fixing bacterium? Now note here carefully that it is asked which one is the aerobic. The option A, Clostridium, B, Rhodocydomonas, C, Azotobacter and D, Rhodospirillium. Clostridium fixes nitrogen but it is an aerobic. Rhodocydomonas is also an oxygenic photosynthetic bacteria. C. Azotobacter is a free living aerobic nitrogen fixing bacterium, while Rhodospirillium is the purple non sulfur bacteria. So, here the correct answer is C. Azotobacter. Question number 4 Which of the following bacteria cannot fix? Nitrogen. The options are A. Oscillatoria, B. Lactobacillus, C. Nostoc, D. Oscillatoria again. Okay. So, here the organism which cannot fix nitrogen is B. Lactobacillus. Oscillatoria and Nostoc they can fix and by mistake in this question Oscillatoria is kept as the option for two times. Question number 5. What are Bio insecticides A. Insects B. Living organism that kill specific insect. Then third option is fungi and D. Insects that kill other big insects. The correct option is the living organism that kill specific insects. One such example is that of the Bacillus Thurin Genesis. Question number 6. The highly degraded organic matter rich in phosphorus, nitrogen and potassium in particular resulting from the activity of earthworms is called A. Humus B. Vermicompost C. Worm casting D. Compost batting. So here the correct answer is vermi compost. Vermi actually stands for the worm, here the earthworm. So this composting is done using the specific type of the earthworm and this compost is rich in the minerals like the phosphorus, nitrogen and potassium which is beneficial for the growth of the plants. Next question, the question number 7. Dash process is the main pathway for degradation of bioorganic compounds. A catalytic B, gluconeogenesis C, anabolic and D is the catabolic. The correct one is the 
option D. This is a very simple question. Now, question number 8. Dash of some xenobiotic can be traced back to a biological origin. The xenobiotic, these are the compounds which are degraded with efforts, lot of efforts. And here the option A is sugar portion, B is carbon portion, C is calcium portion, D is potassium portion. The correct one is the carbon portion. The carbon can be dated or traced by using the 14 carbon radio isotope radioactive isotope of the carbon it is called the 14 carbon carbon dating now question number nine the places where the molecular oxygen is deficient but the organic matter content is high degradation occurs a in the presence of water b in the presence of oxygen c anoxically d is the presence of the organic pollutants now it is itself asking that there is the oxygen deficiency but the organic matter is high. So the correct one is the C anoxically. Question number 10. Which of the following bacteria are used to degrade the fermented products? A. Methanogenic bacteria. B. Hydrogen producing bacteria. C. Carbon degrading bacteria. D. Sulfate reducing bacteria bacteria the correct answer is the a methanogenic bacteria the methanogenic bacteria they can degrade the simple carbon compounds which are a single carbon compounds like acetate and finally methane is produced question number 11 in anaerobic conditions the biopolymers cannot be degraded by which of the following process a reduction of fatty acid b depolymerization c fermentation d biogas formation so it has been asked in the anaerobic condition that means there is no oxygen so here all the processes they can be carried out in the absence of oxygen except the one which one is the reduction of the fatty acids Reduction of fatty acids requires lot of oxygen molecules. Question number 12. An organism that can synthesize all its required organic compounds components from carbon dioxide using energy from sun is a. So here two condition here there are two conditions that one is the organic compounds are produced from the carbon dioxide and other is that energy from the sun has to be there and here the option A is chemoautotroph, B is chemoheterotroph, C is photoheterotroph and D is the photoautotroph. So since there is sunlight so there will be the photo option and since it is synthesizing the organic compound so it cannot be heterotroph but it can only be the autotroph so the correct answer is the d photo autotroph question number 13 chemo autotrophs can survive on dash alone a carbon dioxide b methane c minerals d minerals and carbon dioxide the correct answer is the option D, minerals and carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide will act like a source of carbon and minerals, they will act like the electron acceptor. Question number 14, the symbiotic relationship between two microorganisms with different metabolism which leads to short distance metabolite transfer is called as a mutualism b syntropism c anabolism d catabolism now here we can rule out anabolism and catabolism because these are not mutualistic relationship these are not symbiotic relationship only there is symbiosis in the case of a and b and here the correct answer is the option b syntropism the example is the 
methanogenic archaebacteria which are the present in the gut of the termites. Now question number 15, which of the following does not use microbial degradation method, A redox potential, B polluted water, C pesticide disposals, D sewage sludge. All of the polluted water, pesticide disposal and sewage sludge, this uses the microbial degradation but there is no such option like the redox potential. So here the correct one is the option A, redox potential. Question number 16, which of the following is most suitable for dry waste? A, anaerobic digestion, B, closed vessel, C, aerobic composting, D, and aerobic composting. Here the correct one is the aerobic composting for the dry waste. The aerobic com composting is suitable while for the wet waste there has to be the anoxygenic process so there can be the anaerobic digestion or the anaerobic composting but here the dry waste is asked so the correct option is the C aerobic composting. Question number 17th which of the following is an end product of anaerobic composting which is a source of energy a amino acid b alcohol c toxic products and d is biogas here the option d biogas is correct because it is used as a source of energy it is a result of the anaerobic composting. Question number 18. Amino nitrogen and heterocyclic nitrogen can be degraded by biological methods by first converting it into option A ammonia, B carbon dioxide, C nitrate and D sulfate. So here the correct answer is the option A which is ammonia. The process is called the deamination. The ammonia is removed and then there is degradation further. Question number 19. The following process is not involved in removal of nitrogen. A. Nitrification, B. Ammonification, C. Nitrification and D. Salination. Now, I would say that this question is incorrect. Why it is incorrect? Because here there are the processes which are involved, which removes the, uh, which uh, there is only a single process where there is the remove, there is the removal of nitrogen. And that process is the denitrification. Only in the denitrification, there is the removal of the nitrogen. In ammonification, there is addition of nitrogen. Ammonia is formed. In nitrification, the nitrites and nitrates, they are produced. By in desalination, there is the removal of the anisial saline from the water, which is the aquatic water, the marine water. So the question should be which one of the following process is involved in the removal of nitrogen and then the correct answer will be the option A, D, nitrificants. Okay. The question number 20, the major disadvantage of heterotrophic nitrification is dash for final disposal. A. Less sludge generation, B. Presence of oxygen, C. Excess sludge generation and D is presence of carbon source. Here the correct one is the production of the excess sludge. So the option C. Excess sludge generation is correct. Question number 21. Which of the following is a term used for the amount of pollutant retained in the body of an organism? A. Dosage B. Retention C. Uptake D. Storage This is a very direct question 
and the correct answer is the option B which is the retention. Question number 22. The compounds which does not get degraded under any circumstances is called A. Persistent B. Bioaccumulation C. Recalcitrant and D. Is mineralization. Here the correct option is the C. Recalcitrant. The example of the recalcitrant molecules are the CFC, the chlorofluorocarbons. Question number 23. Cyanobacteria are classified under A. Monera, B. Protista, C. Algae and D. Plantae. Again, a very easy question. The correct answer is the A. Monera. Cyanobacteria which are the blue, green, this uh, bacteria, these are also uh, placed in among with the bacteria. So, this correct answer is the A. Monera. Question number 24. Some plants have nitrogen fixing bacteria in their root nodules. What are these bacteria called? A. Azotobacter, B. Blue algae, C. Nitrosomonas and D. Rhizopium. Very simple question. I know all of you know the answer. The correct one is the D. Rhizopium. Now the question number 25. Living organisms which are invisible to the naked eye are called A. Molecules, B. Microorganism, C. Particles and D. Microorganism. The question is very simple. Everyone I know knows the correct answer, and the correct answer is the B microorganisms. The first microorganism was observed by reported by Anton van Leeuwenhoek, and for that the term animalcules was given. So, these questions will help you in the preparation of your exams. Bye for now. Best wishes and take care. Stay tuned.